She's a news anchor on the RFD network, but when she's not at work, you'll find Tammy Arinder in the kitchen whipping up amazing recipes like white chocolate cheesecake with praline salts. In fact, this dessert was so good it landed Tammy a spot on the new show on uh, called On the Menu on TNT with Emeril Lagasse and Ty Pennington for a chance to have her cheesecake on Planet Hollywood's menus all around the world. Tammy was first runner up on the show and she is sharing that amazing recipe with us here on Talk of the Town today. Good to see good you. Good to see again. you. How Layla, you doing? I'm so excited to be here. I've loved you for a long time uh -huh. and, and it's such an honor to be able to make some of my Louisiana specialties. All right, well, let's you. get started here. We'll talk about the show in a moment, but let's get started. Let's this do looks a little Cheesecake. This is where we're condensing about an hour and a half process mm -hmm. into about three and a half minutes. Um, every layer has a, a different kick, as okay. I call it. Okay, so this is a vanilla wafer crust mm -hmm. and it has toasted pecans in it. Okay. That's the key in making that different. And you don't bake it, you actually put it in the freezer for a few minutes. Oh, okay, and I just will note too that uh, the recipe is already online, so it won't be on the screen, but the recipe is already online. And what I've already mixed in my little bowl here, mm -hmm. um, this is a conglomeration of my three favorite cheesecake recipes. So you've got your cream cheese, okay. you've got your condensed milk, that's already uh, beaten until smooth here. Then we're going to add the other ingredients. We're actually going to take a quarter cup of sugar, as if condensed milk isn't sweet enough. <laughs> For me, nothing is sweet enough. But what we're doing is we're going to put a half a cup of sour cream in it as well. And I've learned that uh, sour cream and a lot of your recipes, even your savory recipes, yeah. or even breads or cakes, really adds a moisture level that is unbelievable. But that is one of the reasons that you're going to put the uh, the sugar in there because obviously sour cream's a bit sour. Mm. Oh yeah, but and you good. get to lick the bowl. <laughs> oh, I realize I'm supposed to I'm supposed to put you to work here, but I'm a little territorial about the things <laughs> that, that, I do. That's quite so, all right. Uh, I'm going to make sure I get it right. And we've got um, two whole eggs mm -hmm. and two egg yolks. That's another thing that is a little different about mine. If you like the texture of like a creme brulee yeah. or a custard, well then that's what this gives you. If okay. you add the egg yolks, so you're going to mix that really well. Now, a lot of recipes will say, put your eggs in one at a time. I'm sure there's a reason for that. Mm -hmm. I hadn't found it because uh, <laughs> this, <laughs> this works. So what works for me, we're going to keep doing it. Now, what makes it the white chocolate cheesecake? Mm -hmm. This is white chocolate liqueur. Not okay. sure why I had this at my house. Really not. <laughs> Thank you, Pastor Frank. Uh, but it was it was there, and um, I had a little bit left. And I'm sure some neighbors of mine probably wanted a you know some of that in their yeah. coffee, and that's why I had it. But here we go, and that gives you another level of texture of creaminess okay. with that little bit of kick there. Okay. Right, cool. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to pour that in our um, spring form pan here. And I will tell you that I had to wrestle to the ground mm -hmm. a spring form pan, okay? <laughs> it was not my friend. But you need one. But it really makes a difference in this case. You can do it in a pie plate, okay. but I really believe for presentation and for what people are mm -hmm. expecting, use that spring form pan, and then you're going to put that this is the other key, 325, a okay. very low oven. All right. Uh, for about and we're 45, going to bake this here, and there's the final product, but I want to give you time real quickly to tell me about something unique that you're doing. You've got a friend uh, that needs a bone marrow transplant, so tell me quickly about this process I and how they can it. order this cake, uh, this well, cheesecake for you. That's what I want to do. As I told you, this is an actual hobby for me, so I'm not trying to make money off this, but I have had several orders, and so I want to give any proceeds I make mm -hmm. to J.C. Allums, James okay. Christopher Allums out of Monroe, Louisiana desperately needs a bone marrow transplant plant. So many people are afraid to do that, but yeah. it's a very simple testing and simple procedure. Okay. So don't be afraid of it. Go get tested. You can go to be the match.org or jcallums.com for more information. All right, and so if you want to order this and yeah. you can go to Tammy Orinder on Facebook, the public page, and mm -hmm. I'm going to find a way to get it to you. All right. She will work that out for you. And this is the recipe for you right now. It is online at 5262. That's the recipe number and the talk of the town section at news channel five.com. Tammy, congrats on this. Thank Big you. things are ahead. Great Thank to see you, you again. You too, All right. My God friend. bless. All Thank right. you. You too.